engineer Alan Schilke was not dropped as a child. No, other emotional scars, but uh, no, no serious head injury. Even so, it's his twisted mind that came up with something the theme park business has never seen before. People have already thought of it as a, a spin and puke ride, you know, not really something that was just, you know, a controlled free flight type of, uh, of movement. This is the X Coaster at Six Flags Magic Mountain in Southern California. Shaky, rattling and rolling riders in every possible direction. Positions all the rails and everything. An experience just... impossible without computer-aided design. PC simulation, instant electronic G-force testing and measuring, well before real-world prototypes are ever even built. You think about the path and the movement of the people and, and what's fun, and you're pretty much just playing with gravity beyond that. Engineers at aerodynamics have always been limited by the laws of physics. There's only so many Gs the human body can withstand. But their proprietary software lets them see electronically how the coaster moves and what it'll do to passengers. The creativity has expanded because of this great tool. And you end up with a much smoother product because you can keep going back and refining it and refining it. The CAD CAM design, the computer generated seismic and G-force analysis, that gets all the attention nowadays, but this is really what put Aero on the map in the first place. It was this engineering breakthrough that helped address the issue of frictional loss. Less friction means a longer roller coaster ride. And this is really where the rubber meets the road, or in this case, the agrothane meets the track. More than just material science for the wheels and tracks, the X Coaster pushes physics and nausea to the extreme. New technology helping turn a roller coaster engineer's nightmares into a thrill seeker's dreams.